question came in asking, how do I find a good turnkey provider so I don't get scammed? Well, I want to answer this in two different directions. One is answering how to find a good turnkey provider. But let's first talk about the scam thing. So I've said this before, but I want to reemphasize it. And there are actually people out there who are saying contrary to what I'm about to tell you. But I am dead set that I think I'm right on this one. Ultimately, it doesn't matter who you buy through. There's going to be caveats to this. But technically, it does not matter who you buy a turnkey through as far as the provider goes, assuming you do proper due diligence. Because your due diligence to ensure that you're getting what it is that you're hoping to get as far as the property is 100% about the property. Ultimately, technically, I use that word because there are ways that can make a difference, but technically, who sells you a property is irrelevant. You could buy a property from the biggest scammer on the planet and it'd be okay because your due diligence is about the property. It's not about the person selling it to you. Now, the reason I use the word technically is because most people, most turnkey investors, probably most real estate investors, don't necessarily know how to do the actual proper level of due diligence. It's taken me years. When I first started buying turnkeys, I didn't know either. And I did kind of what I thought made sense, but over the years I was like, ooh, okay, missed something. And so it's taken me a long time to figure it out. And it takes a while to really nail down exactly how to verify everything. But everything you need to verify to ensure that you're not being scammed is a verification on the property, not the person selling it to you. The difference that the person selling it to you is going to make is you can probably get away with not doing quite as much due diligence. Your buying process, your experience with the whole thing is going to be just better in general as far as like communication. You know, they might be able to help you. Sometimes they can kind of serve as mentors, not like officially, but like, you know, help mentor you through the process, especially if you've never been through it before. So in those cases, if you are dealing with a scammer or someone who is just a bad turnkey provider, um, your experience may not be good. You may be required really to do that much due diligence because you need to ensure that you're not getting scammed. But again, whether you're getting scammed or not lies in the property, not in the person selling it to you. Um, but chances are, if you are working with a bad turnkey provider or a scammer, which for the record, I've actually never known of any scammers who have posed, poised, poised, posed themselves as turnkey providers. All of the horror stories that you've ever heard have been not from a scamming perspective necessarily. It's just that a lot of people got away with selling properties in less than advertised condition to, you know, worst case, they were selling to naive investors and they knew it. And so they didn't really put a lot of effort forth, if you will. But from an actual scamming, like setting out to scam people, I've never seen that in turnkey world. So again, the horror stories have really come from properties just being delivered, not as advertised. And ultimately, again, as much as this sucks, that falls on the buyer because that's in your due diligence. Someone could try and pass off a property in whatever condition. And if you don't do the due diligence, you're going to fall into that trap. So buyer due diligence is key. So that's what you really need to understand. The message that you sometimes may hear contrary to that is I've heard actually a turnkey provider who says your due diligence should be about the turnkey provider, the turnkey company versus the property. I think that's the worst message on the planet because uh, what? Like the only thing that matters for your portfolio is your property. You're done with the provider once you buy it from them. Maybe they're property managing, but your investment's not in the provider. It's in the property. So why would you learn to, why would you want to learn to do your due diligence on whether you should trust somebody or not? Forget trusting anyone. Trust yourself. Do your own due diligence. So that is how you avoid scams in real estate investing in general, but especially in turnkeys. It's all in the due diligence. And I have honestly yet to have heard of one of those turnkey horror stories that of someone buying something that it was way different than what was advertised that 
wouldn't have been caught by doing proper due diligence. And I never want to knock turnkey buyers. I never want to knock anyone for not doing enough due diligence. Because like I said, I've been there. I've, I've been in a situation where I didn't do enough due diligence. Fortunately, it did not turn into a horror story, but it did cost me a good bit of money. So I'm always on the buyer side. But in those cases, sorry guys, it's on you. Like you're the one who has to verify everything. So when you're thinking of who you're working with, yeah, it's so helpful to trust them because really like if you end up with a bad provider or whatever, like chances are the properties they try and sell you are not going to pass muster. So that is the thing to know is that probably there's a correlation. The really good providers are probably going to give you really good properties. The bad providers may kind of give you bad properties, but you don't know that. But again, when you're verifying everything, focus on the property itself, not the provider. So I hope that makes sense that I'm not saying like, oh yeah, it's fine to go work with a bad provider. Like don't, because it's going to make your experience terrible. You're going to hate it. You're not going to like it. You might end up with a bad property. Chances are you don't know how to do enough due diligence properly anyways. Been there. So focus on finding the good providers, but I really want to uh, drive home the point of it is in the property, not the provider. So now to actually answer the question at hand, how do you find a good turnkey provider? A hundred percent number one answer I think is talk to other turnkey buyers. Find out who people are buying through, who they've had good experiences with, who the properties have been performing well. That is going to be your number one absolute most important uh, thing is referrals because I've seen turn I've seen turnkey providers that I don't particularly like and I don't really value what they offer. Their websites look phenomenal. Their offerings look phenomenal. You know, like you can't really tell whether a provider's good or not. Some of the best turnkey providers I've ever known barely even had a web presence or if they did, their website looked terrible. Like <laughs> it's like, "Ooh, I want to buy a property from them because their website's so bad." But their properties were amazing. So it's really hard if you're on your own to distinguish who's the good providers versus the bad ones. And once you get a list of providers and you start calling them, if you're newer, you also don't really know what to ask them. Like you don't know what you don't know. Like, you know, you, it's possible that you call a turnkey provider and you really connect with them on the phone. They give you amazing information. They're super helpful. Like cool. If you jive with a turnkey provider that you meet, rock on. But as far as like what they offer versus like, is it good? Is it bad? You, it, it's hard. Again, it goes back to kind of like the due diligence thing. When you're newer, you just don't really know what the red flags are, what the risks are. And at this point, honestly, there are so many turnkey buyers out there. Granted, they can be a little bit hard to find because, you know, like if you're on bigger pockets or whatever, they're usually not on bigger pockets once they buy and have a good experience. Uh, we've got the turnkeys Facebook group, which if you're watching this, you're probably in because the question, this question came through the Turnkeys Facebook group. Um, I'll link to uh, that group in the comments, but find people who have been buying turnkeys or who have experience with their different turnkeys. Um, that's your number one thing because if, if a handful of people are like, oh man, this is the best turnkey provider ever, it's probably saying something. Or if a handful of people are like, oh my God, avoid, avoid, mayday, then it's probably saying something one-off people here and there may not tell you a lot but if there's kind of a general consensus about a turnkey provider super helpful the next thing i would say after you get actual turnkey investor referrals is i am always an advocate of working through the turnkey marketing companies and not going to the providers direct because the turnkey marketing companies they do this for a living they vet providers they vet markets they look for the different providers and they know what they're looking for. They've been doing this for years and they know what red flags exist. They know what makes for a good turnkey provider. They know all of these different things and most of them are a free service. So again, it's like putting more people in your court and not trying to do this on your own. Ask people who are way further ahead in turnkey world than you are. Why not? Like, why would you try and reinvent the wheel and do all your own problems, like learn from everybody else. So step one, get other turnkey investor referrals. Step two, I highly recommend looking, working through a turnkey marketing company. And if you do that, remember, if you're doing kind of due diligence on the companies, the marketing company, yeah, you can hear about different experiences, but ultimately you're still gonna buy from the provider. So your due diligence really wants to be on the provider side. But that's another video or neither here nor there. Um, 
but work through the turnkey marketing companies. They're going to better be better at helping you strategize for your portfolio. Maybe one market's better for you than another. The direct providers aren't really going to give you that necessarily. And then after that, I would talk to the providers directly and see how you feel about them. Like find out who everyone's feeling good about themselves and then find out, you know, talk to them yourself, find out how you feel about them. And then ultimately do your due diligence on the property because again, that's what matters. And if you do all of that, you're probably setting yourself up for a really good turnkey experience.